Neither rain, sleet, ice, stranded snow will keep Coastal Carolina from its appointed rounds. What a week of CCU basketball, Coach Cliff Ellis. I'm telling you, what a week. I've never had to endure what we went through this week, and I'm just so proud of our team to do what they did. What resiliency. What resiliency. I'm very proud of this basketball team. This is going to be a fun show. Now, a little bit later on, we're going to tell you the story of Coastal Carolina being stranded on I-74 for 12 hours, a 21-hour road trip. That kind of sets the stage for the theme of Saturday night. There's no question you're a weary team. You kind of limp into the HTC Center, but once again, your kids showed what happens. It's almost like they're, they're programmed, hey, we're down 8, 9, 10 points. Let's get going and win this game. Well, we talked about the fact that I think adversity will test the champion. Uh, you know, that there's when a storm comes, and literally that storm, but any type of storm situation, some people look for a way out. Uh, a champion's going to find a way to make something happen. Uh, adversity can make you or it can break you and that's a that's a lesson in life and that was the theme all week we didn't have practice time uh, we didn't have much sleep uh, and to come in and win this game the way they did I'm as proud of this basketball team as any team that I've ever had because of the circumstances I've never had to go through that and they did a great job you are going to see a very tough group of Shauna Clears. Let's look at the action from Saturday night. Coastal Carolina hosting Gardner-Webb. And, Coach, uh, the crowd would be a big story in this ballgame. No question about it. Uh, the energy from the crowd, especially in the last 12 minutes of the game, there was an adrenaline rush. I think our guys did, forgot about being leg-weary or tired and whatever the circumstances are. But when you get that energy from a crowd, it just shows you what can happen. We will, we might win the game, but I can tell you what, to open up a lead the way that it did, our crowd had a lot to do with that. It was a team win. But early on, Coach, there was some sloppy play from your ball club, and you, you kind of said, uh oh, here, we got a problem here. Well, we didn't have a chance to practice. I mean, you know, getting in at 6 o'clock Thursday, we, you know, we, we didn't even, we couldn't physically practice. We just had a conversation. Yesterday, we just had to, talk about it and get a little bit of workout. Today at noon, we actually went through the game plan and to come out and do that uh, was a tough, tough call. And we were forcing shots early uh, and we were letting them get too many rebounds. And uh, But we picked it up and we started competing and we got better at it. Starts with Eric Smith knocking down a three. He's really stepped in and given Cameron some good spell. Let me tell you what, this week has been his best basketball and he's been, he's been somebody that's been important to us. Elijah Wilson on the drive ties it at 14, and then Dante Harper sparks an 8-0 run. Coach, you're down 24-16. Well, we're down eight. Uh, we've got to make sure every possession is a big one. We don't, we can't get it back all at one time. We just we talked to our team. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. And let's defend. Good final three minutes for the Shawnee Clears in the first half. Eric Smith with his second three makes it 24-19. Then a great dish here. That was a good play. Good pass. Good timing. Elijah Wilson caps off a 7-0 run. Coach, at the half, you're down three, 28-25. Well, as tough as it was in the first half, we're really only down one possession, so we can kind of regroup at half. We talked about this, that, okay, this game is a physical game. we got to match up to it. The, the game is being allowed to be played very physically, and we've got to really match up to that. Jerome Hill puts Gardner-Webb in front, 34-25, and you think, okay, is the tank empty on the Shawnee Clears? The answer is no. Well, we made a couple of plays, and this, when we do make a couple of these plays, then it gets the crowd into it. When the crowd got into it, I think it just came back and shocked Gardner-Webb because it had been pretty quiet, but it gave our team energy, and we made some tremendous defensive plays. Elijah Wilson gets called for an offensive foul here, Coach. You know, again, maybe he starts saying maybe this is in Coastal's night, but it just shows, I'm just showing this is an example of the adversity you're facing. Yeah, and I think we were just down a possession there, and then that would have tied the game. We we're trying to get over the hump. So, anyway, those are things that we had to fight through. Colton Ray St. Cyr, another spark, hits a three. It's a 47-43, you're down four. I thought that three off the bench was a, was a big part of this game. And now this is the point where you take control of the game. Josh Cameron makes it 50 to 47, and then you go to your newest weapon in your bag of tricks. You get the crowd fired up, and this is where the game turns, and you pick the right time to get the crowd fired up. Well, you, you've got to, when you don't feel the energy of the crowd is where it need to be, you've got to pick your moment. 
and it's going to be something that the team has to do. And then it gets everybody pumped up. You know, we were playing lethargic. Uh, we needed a big play, and that gave us a big play, and that was the time to mash the button and get the fans involved. And the button was pushed perfectly because here's Elijah Wilson to make it 54-52, and then Badu Jang, you're up four, and the place is going bananas. Well, and that's what you want. Now we're in an adrenaline rush, and we're making great plays from here on down. We just play a great game. Indeed. Here's Josh Cameron with the block. Elijah Wilson with the lay-in on the other end. He ties Jack Leisure's freshman scoring record. Pretty impressive. That is very impressive. And then the rest of the story was Warren Gillis. You turn to that leader. He made a couple of huge plays here down the stretch. Man, did he. We, we, he made some big plays, and he's a veteran player. And he's a good one to have the, the ball in the hands of. Gillis with the hoop and the foul. You're up 12. It was a magnificent 19-2 run. And then Badu Jang with the slam here at the end. Uh, once again, you've got your four guys in double digits. Well, it, it's just uh, amazing the way that this team has come along and gotten great balance. And uh, it, it really makes a difference. And we also, we had Rich in this game. We had... Uh, Nine or ten players play double-figure minutes, and that, that, that speaks for this team. We knew that we couldn't come out and play the normal minutes that everybody else did. So that uh, and the bench, uh, huge factors in these games. 75-60 to 60 is your final after the game. Josh Cameron, most appreciative of the HTC crowd for firing his team up. During those stretches when, when the crowd is into the game, um, it really helps our defense. And... Um, that's, that's what's most important right now because we, we're number one in the conference in defense. And our coaches preach defense, and when our fans get into it, you get a little extra energy, a little extra adrenaline. Well, the coaching staff, they do a good job um, keeping us, keeping our hopes up and keeping posit keeping us positive. So, And we as a team, we all keep each other positive too. So we that's one of the things that help us um, come back and finish strong at the end of games. Our HTC peak performer from the Gardner-Webb game, Warren Gillis, the junior out of Philadelphia, 18 points coach, but how about seven steals well, on D? There's your stat right there. The defense really propelled us in this game. His seven steals made a difference in this game. He's a leader. He, without question, this stat alone, because of the defense that was needed, makes him the peak performer of this game. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll look back on Wednesday night's game against VMI. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. And by DARPRO Solutions, America's largest and oldest recycling solutions company that serves the nation's food industry. HTC connects my family, neighbors, and businesses in our community to the most reliable communication services at the best possible value. More services, more savings, which is value I count on when I bundle, giving me more connections to the things that matter the most. Switch to HTC Member Connections and save up to $45 per month. Call 369-7883. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. DAR Pro Solutions is America's oldest, largest, and most innovative recycling solutions company that serves our nation's food industry. DAR Pro offers their customers over a century of experience, a network of nationwide locations, and a continuous commitment to research and to develop tomorrow's recycling solutions. DAR Pro is founded on the heritage of two great companies, Darling International and Griffin Industries. A special thanks to Dar Pro Solutions for being the sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timmer. Serving the Grand Strand since 1982, the ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is to match the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449 0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. I want to thank my friend Keith Henson from Waccamaw Land and Timber for their support of the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. It was uh, Memorial Day weekend. We got a call from the uh, fire department letting us know that we had a fire at 2.30 in the morning. The fire and the smoke damage was pretty extensive. He had 14 rooms that were affected. Getting this hotel back up and running was key for uh, the Best Western. We were up and operating within a couple days. In the first week, we had 13 rooms back online. They did a great job. They were almost like we didn't know they were here. No matter what time or what type of job that would come in, A&I has the resources to get it done. 
you hear fire or water restoration, you think of A&I. Welcome back to the Cliff Ellis Show. A fantastic week for the Shot Clears basketball program. Two big wins, Coach, coming back from 18 down at VMI on Wednesday night. Well, I tell you what, VMI came out just knocking the shots down, and we the shot went, shots weren't falling, but we stayed patient. We didn't lose our poise, and the shots started falling, and then it stopped falling for them, and uh, we held on and, and made a big win uh, in, in, at VMI. A big win indeed. Let's look back on Wednesday night's game at Cameron Hall between the Chanticleers and the Keydets. Well, this chapter has to be called Weathering the Storm because outside, Coach, you had a foot of snow dropping down. Well, I tell you what, the weather has been tough throughout, but uh, basketball's carried on, and uh, that's why you have a gymnasium. One reason that basketball's played for conditions like this, but what a basketball game, uh, Rich. The first half, BMI came out, and they were on fire with the three. We got good looks, uh, but they weren't going, uh, but their three-point shooting and Covington inside was certainly strong, and they had a great offensive first half. You mentioned DJ Covington here. He slams one down. It's eight too early. So now you spend the whole entire first half trying to catch up. Josh Cameron to Badu Jank for the alley-oop, and then Coach Eric Smith hitting a three, slowly building some confidence here. Well, we're, we're trying to get it one possession at a time. We really have not done things that were wrong on the offensive side. The ball just was not falling early. So. The VMI game brings out athleticism, and that's good news for Michelle Ananga here. The steal, the slam, and the foul. I thought his play was of huge impact for our team. Uh, he rebounded, he did the little things that I think are necessary. Coach, you were down double digits, and you got a little streak here of three-pointers to get back in it with Elijah Wilson, Warren Gillis, and Josh Cameron all hitting triples. Well, those threes are big for us, and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're an impact in, in this game, and uh, each possession is, is, is vital at, uh, to making a comeback. The story of the first half, though, was VMI hitting those three-pointers. They had eight in the first half. That's why they had a 50-34 to 34 advantage. Yes, and, uh, you know, we're down, but we told our team at halftime, you know, just take it uh, one step at a time, get it under 10 and move from there because the way this game is, is fast paced. That lead is not insurmountable. And you had a great first three minutes of the second half. Josh Cameron scores five straight points and all of a sudden you go from 14 down to seven down in a blink of an eye. Welcome to the VMI's high pace style. Well, the, the shot started falling for us and now it's a matter of playing some defense. Another great play here, the TD pass. Warren Gillis long to Colton Ray St. Cyr, the hoop and the foul. But well, we talked to our team about the fact earlier in the week that you might could throw long out of our press offense against this denial, and Warren picked that up, and he made a great pass. Badu Jang with a huge three here. He continues to show inside, outside. You're down 257, 55. But we're back in the game, so that puts the pressure on VMI. They were wondering what in the world happened to the lead. Now if we can just play defense, keep making shots, things will happen. Elijah Wilson was fantastic on Wednesday night. He hits a three here to tie it at 60. Then after a couple of VMI free throws, you see Wilson work the inside a couple of times. You take your lead 64-63. Well, age possession is big. We've, we've cut this thing down. We've just got to take it one possession at a time, make sure we're taking good shots. Another big play, El Haji Jagan running the floor here and getting the nice finish. That was huge. I read, you know, Haji's been injured, but to see him run like that, that's certainly big for us. Warren Gillis would show up big time here in crunch time, tying the game at 68. And then uh, here was a play where the ball kind of bounced around. QJ Peterson hits a three. VMI has a 73-70 lead. Well, it, that, it, that, that shot was a big shot for them, but uh, we didn't panic. We came back, and, and you'll see the next one. Warren Gillis showing that toughness, 73-72. And then this Gillis three here was a huge bucket. That was a nice, but it was a nice play to get him that shot. 76-74 Coastal, now this is where things go back and forth. VMI would draw even on the Glasgow inside move and then Peterson puts VMI up two coach and it sets the stage for your team to put themselves in a position to win the basketball game. Well, we're actually, I believe this is the play where uh, Elijah Wilson would get him the ball at the top of the key, uh, set play. Uh, we were a little bit, didn't have the angle of the pass we wanted, but anyway, you got to look at the three and you see the rest. Coach, we're going to show this three again because there's some things, as good a coach as you are, you just can't teach. A guy in his face knocks down that three. Well, big time, but he's feeling it. The one thing you can do is get him the ball, and you know we're trying to set the screen uh, uh, with Haji for him to get the ball, and 
He's not totally open, but he believes he can make it, and players make plays. 79-78 Coastal, equally important is that big, big three-pointer is what you do on defense here in the final moments. Well, we had two or three big stops, big stops, and, and that's the key to this win. Josh Cameron with the steal here. He hits two free throws, and then down three, VMI throws it away. Gillis puts the game away. And those free throws puts it down, and uh, it, what a huge win, Rich. A remarkable comeback. Uh, very proud of our team. Very proud of our team. 83 to 78 is your final. Coastal Carolina once again with four guys in double figures. Elijah Wilson with 26, Warren Gillis with 16, Josh Cameron with 15, and Badu Jang with 12. We caught up with Elijah Wilson after the game talking about that big, big shot. Well, it's a, oh, actually, Haji set a good screen for me to get me open, but he caught up to me. So, and I was feeling it the whole game, so I just had enough confidence that. I could take the shot and hit it and put us ahead. What so. does it say about this team? You guys are down 18, you're snowed in, things aren't looking good. What did you guys do at halftime to make the adjustments to, to come back and win this game? Uh, we did a little adjustment on defense. Coach got on us for not for not getting back on for the fast breaks because that's where they're getting all their points. So we started to hustle back on, um, at, on, the, on their rebounds and get back and try to find our shooters to help stop them from scoring. So. Well, after the game, I told him, I said, Elijah, that was the biggest shot of the game. So um, we all recognized it, we all knew it, and we all knew we wanted to get on the ball because he, he was hot at the moment, and he had a, a good rhythm going. So uh, we, had, we just decided to get on the ball, and he made a big shot. Our HTC peak performer from the VMI game, Elijah Wilson, the freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, 26 points coach. He was 3 of 3 from three point land, 11 of 16 from the floor. He had a great game, and, you know, he was making shots in the first half when we were struggling. He was the one guy that was making shots, and our players recognized it. We got him in the ball, and, uh, you know, he made a big shot to give us the lead. He deserves to be the peak, peak performer for this game. When we come back, Coastal Carolina, not out of Virginia just yet. We'll tell you about one of the strangest road trips in college basketball. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by a &I Fire and Water Restoration, Coastal Orthopedic, Strand Orthopedic, and Creek Rats. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. At Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Coach Cliff Ellis Show. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton, along with my children Case, Preston, and Mary Madison. I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. We have fine men that are leading our students at Coastal to great achievements. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Crestcom Bank is now offering our customers a new reason to smile. It's our totally free checking. And when we say free, we mean free. Totally free checking means free online banking, free online bill pay, free MasterCard debit card, free first order of checks. You'll even receive a free gift when you open an account. To sign up for totally free checking, visit any of our Crestcom Bank locations throughout Myrtle Beach and Charleston. Crestcom Bank, have a nice bank. The Shana Clears walked off the court at Cameron Hall in Lexington, Virginia, all smiles after a come from behind 83 78 win on Wednesday night. Normally, the Shants would load up the bus and get on the road for an overnight journey back to Conway. But a foot of snow kept the CCU squad one more night in Virginia. Leaving at 8 a.m. on Thursday, CCU made it through the state of Virginia until the snow grounded the team bus just before 1 p.m. on I-74 just outside of Mount Airy, North Carolina. When we first got stuck, you know, you don't, you don't ever think you're going to be sitting in the same spot for 12 hours. So at first it's like, uh, okay, it's no big deal. Traffic could get to moving. And then after a couple hours, you start realizing, like, okay, when is it going to happen? The unexpected grounding started out as a time for fun with snowball fights and a snowman on the side of the highway. Tell me about the snowman and, and why you decided to name it Jeffrey. Well, I know this is the first time I ever took part in building a snowman, so I was pretty excited about it. And I know Jeffrey just stood out. I was like, he looks like a Jeffrey. 
but the fun turned to long hours and a broken bus. It was fun at first. We thought it was pretty funny, um, maybe first couple hours. But then as the sun started going down, it started getting a little cold. That's when, every, that's when everything started going downhill. And on top of that, the, they sent another bus for us, too, and they kept on saying 15, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and it turned into hours and hours. So, Food and bathroom situation during that 12 hours? Uh, that bathroom stinks. But bologna, bologna sandwiches and ham sandwiches. <laughs> you know, once we ran out of bread to make, because we had some lunch meat to make some sandwiches, we ran out of bread, and then... That's when they kind of hit us like, man, we still not moving. And then our bus cut off, so the traffic started moving, but we were still stuck. So We finally got moving, and the bus kept shutting down and getting on, and I just got mad and said, uh, I think I said, if this bus stops one more time, I'm walking to Myrtle, period. 21 hours later, the CCU Odyssey came to an end. We just wanted to get off the bus. Everybody just grabbed their stuff. Everybody had their stuff ready. We just walked off. That's probably the fastest we got off the bus this year. We watched two movies. We built a snowman. Uh, we had snowball fights. I watched every clip of Gardner Webb. Uh, by the time I got home, I'd done all my work of a week. Uh, we bonded, uh, but it was a tough day. I've never been involved with a trip like that, but we handled it. But life doesn't deal you roses all the time. And again, we use that as our theme this week that adversity is going to test you. And we were tested. We were tested. And uh, uh, I'm just proud of our team for the way we managed it. But uh, that was pretty big. We were 19 inches of snow, and you saw it. It was something else, oh, yeah. something else. And, uh, you know, we were able to weather the storm. Weather the storm indeed, and it seemed only fitting that Coastal Carolina, if they can handle that, they can handle just about anything, and they continue to be very resilient on and off the court. Time for one more break. When we come back at Shots Corner, the coach goes one-on-one -on -one with El Haji Jagan. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber, Beach Realty, and the Britton Law Firm. Locals love Greek rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Greek rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Beach Realty. Working with Beach Realty means you get the reliability and dedication that comes with a team of seasoned professionals who are willing to go beyond the call of duty for you or your family. Visit scbeachrealty.com or call 877-98-SUNNY to learn how Beach Realty can help you locate your future real estate in the Garden City, Merle's Inlet, and Surfside Beach areas. Thanks to Kevin Dorenzo and the team at Beach Realty for being a part of our team on the Cliff Ellis Show. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. Health Hero of South Carolina offers voluntary school vaccination clinics. These clinics provide influenza vaccinations to students in the public school setting regardless of insurance. This convenient approach to preventative care helps to keep our schools, families, and communities healthy. Please call 1-205-609-0268. I want to thank Health Hero for being a sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Show. They're a fantastic group. HTC High Speed Internet is fast for my family, and that's good because with four of us online at one time, we can't afford to slow down. HTC is a plan that keeps our home connection up to speed, and faster speeds make it even easier to connect to family, friends, business, and entertainment on our tablets, laptops, and smartphones. And that's how HTC connects my home with the things that mean the most. Get more speed at home for your new tablets with HTC High Speed Internet and save. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. With us today on Shots Corner is El Haji Jagan. El Haji is one of the better post players in our league. He's a he's a fierce rebounder. He gets a rebound every three minutes, which, you know, that's professional basketball level. He uh, is a guy that uh, scores low for us. He battles. Uh, he's our most physical player, and he's a senior. Uh, tell him what you're getting your degree in. I'm getting my degree in uh, economics. Economics and uh it's got to be quite a challenge to come uh, from a different country that the, the major language is being English, yet that's not the way you were raised. 
How have you adapted to the English language taking classes? Yeah, I had to adapt really quick because, I mean, luckily, when I was in Senegal, I liked a lot of the English. I mean, it was my favorite subject, so I kind of follow up. And when I came here, I was I'd be able, I had a lot of Americans, I was saying with American families, so I had to be able to speak English to get through the day. So they kind of helped me in through the school. Right, so they teach English in Senegal in school, so you learn English before you get over here. That's that's cool. Yeah. I like that. I yeah, like they, that. they do teach you English, but you don't get to speak it because they're the native language, which is Wolof and then French. So people don't speak it. So you don't, you, know, you can know the vocabulary. But the good thing about it, you have good grammar, good vocabulary. So once you get here and be able to speak it, you can flourish. And you got to go home for the first time in how many years? Five and a half years, almost six years. So... He had not been home, can you imagine that, had not been home in five and a half, almost six years. Tell me about some of the things that you got to catch up on while you were in Senegal. Uh, first thing I had to catch up was the food. You know, it was it was great, and then you see a lot of your friends, a lot of them now going. Some of them get married, some of them got great jobs. You know, Some of them are still what they were. And my brother, almost being tall as me now, I kind of kept, but it was a great experience really. Well, now your career's coming to an end, and you'll be able to uh, have a degree. You'll be able to hopefully play basketball in Europe. Now you're going to be able to go home every year, so that's got to be exciting. Oh, yeah, it's very exciting. I've, re I've always wanted to be able to go home anytime I can. I think finishing school would allow me to do that and see the family and be closer. It also shows how working hard, uh, having a dream, uh, how wonderful America is to give opportunities to people, to allow them to grow. And El Haji has been able to do that, and it's been a rewarding experience, I know, for him, but it's been a rewarding experience for me to work with this young man. We're proud to have him from Senegal, El Haji Jagan. Our ACC scouting report, final two road trips of the year, Coach, and this is a big week. I circled oh. this one on the calendar at the beginning of the year, at Winthrop on Wednesday, at Asheville on Saturday. Not going to be any tougher than these because we're the team they're chasing. We're going to have packed houses wherever we go. Fans are going to be in it, and we're going to have to play great basketball. We're going to get everybody's best, best shot because we're going down the stretch. These teams, every team needs wins, and so we're going to get everybody's best shot. As we talked about last week, we're now in a six-game tournament. Now we're down to four. Uh, we're at Winthrop. We're at UNC Asheville. Everybody knows Winthrop's already beaten us. Asheville, what a close game it was. We've got two tough tasks, uh, but our team uh, is going to go in and give it its best shot. Tough doesn't seem to be a problem with this squad, Coach. No, they're, they're resilient. They're going to give us everything that we've got, and I'm proud of this team. It should be another great week of CCU basketball. We'll join you next week from Asheville, North Carolina. For the coach, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching a snow-filled edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merle Center and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Health Hero. HTC Home Security watches over my family, home, business, and property 24 hours a day. And it's security I can afford to protect those that are most valuable to me. With free installation and a low monthly monitoring fee, HTC offers the added peace of mind and the protection that I need for the things that matter the most. Monitoring as low as $22.99 per month. System for only $99 with free installation. HTC, this is life. Connect with it.